That frantic search is happening right now in Pasco County. Jason Adams walked away from a work detail nearly six hours ago, and he hasn't been seen since. And as News Channel East Candace McCowan just found out, he may have had help on the run. She joins us now live along State Road 54 in Pasco County with a look at the search. Candace? Gail, this is still an intense search at this hour and this evening. You can see that there's a command center back there and several dozen deputies and investigators back there are still working. Sheriff Chris Nako has promised me that the intensity of this search will not die down until they have located Jason Adams. <coughs> ATVs, bloodhounds, and lights. It was all happening around Tammy Merritt's home, putting her family on edge. I went and told her, and she was <laughs> freaked out. It started at 425 Monday afternoon. A five-man correctional work crew were cleaning the road when 27-year-old inmate Jason Adams walked into the woods and took off. Through the search so far, uh, we were able to find some clothes. Uh, there was numerous bags out there. We're looking right now to see what may have been out here from before or what may be fresh. But I can tell you that we did find the clothes of the inmate, what he was wearing. The air unit, corrections officers, and Hillsborough County were some of those involved in the search. The question is, did Adams have help? Investigators are checking with family in Titusville, Florida, and in South Carolina to make sure they aren't in on an escape plan. And while they continue to search off of State Road 54, there's a possibility that he got into a car already. He may not be in the area, but we're assuming that he's close by. Adams was locked up for burglaries, no violent crimes, but still. He's a criminal. He ran. You know, he's convicted. Uh, he could be dangerous. Meantime, concern is growing for neighbors. Very concerning to be around here like this. Oh, I'm watching. I'm watching. I've been watching the news. My house is going to be secure, and we are definitely taking caution and investigators are talking to other inmates that were out here when adams walked away we asked sheriff narco he's held this whole thing strange because of the fact that adams was only serving six years and was set to be released as early as next year gail well i am guessing that the people near are being asked to take extra precautions as if they probably wouldn't do that on their own anyway right Absolutely, Gail. We talked to Sheriff Naka, who told us that he's asking folks in the area to double check, make sure that their doors are locked. Also, make sure that their cars are locked and turn on any extra lights that they might have around their house as a deterrent this evening. Gail? All right. Thank you. Candace McCown live in Pasco County tonight.